people know me as the lead singer of Color Me Bad. What most people don't know about me is that I'm an alcoholic. My musical career started way back in high school in Oklahoma City. I was in band. I was really pretty geeky, but I had pipes. I met Mark Calderon back in high school. We hit it off. We started performing at assemblies. We were always trying to be the center of attention. We were hungry. We wanted to be stars. During our senior year in high school, Cool and the Gang came to town. We went to the party. Cool and the Gang heard us sing. Next thing you know, we start recording this song, I Wanna Sex You Up. We released an album called CMB, and it had a string of hits on it. I Adore Me More. Sex You Up went number one R&B, and for us, because we sang R&B and hip hop music, and because some of us were white in the group, that was a huge accomplishment. It was divine intervention. We were successful and we wanted to stay successful. There was a lot of pressure. All of the artists and everything seemed to love the same things and have the same things in common because we all love to do this and we all love the fans. With alcohol, I found that it took away my inhibitions. It started out slow, a shot before going on stage. As the years progressed, I started drinking more and more to the point where I was binge drinking. I would start buying the pints and so I'd buy a couple of pints of vodka and I'd drink them within an hour. There always comes that time when I have that little breakdown and I decide I can handle it. I'm grown. I want to have a couple drinks and it just spirals out of control. I've been in and out of rehab four or five times. I've had three DUIs. I have shown up for shows drunk, walked off the stage, pushed Mark right in front of the crowd. I do things that I don't remember because as soon as I start drinking, I go straight to blackout. I'm afraid I'm gonna be one of the next entertainers that you hear about that they found in a hotel room. They drank themselves to death. I'm worried for my life. Well, Brian, I'm glad you're here. Thank you, sir. Hard to watch? Yeah. What's hard about it? All of it. Yeah? Yeah. So why do you think you're drinking to blackout level? Well, for starters, because I'm an alcoholic. I know that and I've accepted that. I drink to numb myself or to not feel hurt, not feel pain, not feel shame. So what's hurtful in your world? Um, the guilt from the things that I've done over the years. Um, things from childhood growing up, uh, two hip replacements and almost 150 pounds heavier. I'm not happy with who I am. so. If I'm insecure or scared to death before I go out on stage, feeling like nobody wants to see this big fat guy get up there and sing these songs. They don't want to see that guy. They want to see the other guy. Because I, I put together a list of the, the excuses, your word, uh, of why you do this. You said you're stressed and lonely. You said your career triggers you to drink. And you're just describing that, how you feel when yeah. you're on stage. You said the first time you drank, it was before a show and people said it was your best show ever. Yeah. Uh, you said, I drink each day so I didn't feel sick from the night before. So mm -hmm. at that point you were drinking enough that you were actually withdrawing. Yeah. Uh, you said, I dated Kim and we both drank. So something you did together that was an activity you bonded with. Yeah. You, you said you were taking pain pills and you'd drink less, but you'd get the same feeling from the pain pills. Mm -hmm. And you said, Kim, when she'd go with you, she'd keep you on track. Uh, because I but, wouldn't think to even drink. I wouldn't want to be right. in that place. And then if she didn't go with you on tour, then you didn't have that, she wasn't there to pump the brake for you. Yeah. And what a lot of people don't know is that I weighed 400 pounds the end of my sophomore year in high school. And I lost all that weight because I wanted to be an entertainer and because the guys in my band said, we'll never make it with you looking like this. Yeah. So I started losing the weight and getting it off. So in front of all these people and performing, they see this thin guy, probably one of the thinnest in the group, but inside I'm still that really fat guy with the skin hanging, mm -hmm. um, scared to death that somebody's gonna see the way I look or judge me because I'm not this new skinny guy in my head. I'm a really scared guy inside. 